Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White, and it's my pleasure in this episode to walk you through one of my favorite new features in the soon-to-be-released, if not already released, Lightroom 3.2. Now, when I say soon-to-be-released, it depends on when you're watching this video. It's, it's basically one of those things where Lightroom 3.2, which is an update to Lightroom 3, is, has been posted on our lab site as a release candidate. That means that it is near release, it's just about ready to go, and by the time this even goes live, you may already have it. So, in the meantime, I'm going to talk to you about one of the one of my new favorite features besides all the new uh, camera support and besides all the new lens profiles that were in 3.2. One of the things that got added is additional published services. I'm going to speak about one in particular, and that was one of my favorites. It's Facebook. It's one of the ones I've been waiting for. Now, I know a lot of users out there, especially photographers, uh, use Facebook as a way of sharing photos and uh, showing some of their work. So now that's even easier in Lightroom 3.2. Let's take a look. So I have some photos here from an event. Actually, this was a 24th anniversary meeting for one of the users groups that I'm involved in. And lots of pictures here. And of course, I've gone through and done my picks of, of which are my favorites. But in this case, what I'd like to do is share these favorites directly to Facebook from Lightroom. Now, before I would have to do an export and upload separately, but now I can do it all in Lightroom. So the first thing I need to do is get this set up. And you'll notice now under Published Services, you have Hard Drive, um, you already had Flickr, and now you'll have Facebook as well. So I'm not going to scroll down. There may be more there, but I'm not going to pre-announce those. You'll just have to wait till 3.2 is out before you see what's, what else is there. But um, since Facebook was in the release candidate, I will go ahead and show that one now. So I'll do a setup, and the first thing it's asking me to do is authorize. Now it's asking me to authorize um, based on whichever account I'm signed into Facebook with, and I just happen to be signed in with the one I want. So I'm going to go ahead now and create a new album. I, it gives me the choices of all the other albums that are already there in my account. And I'm going to go ahead and say create new album uh, on Facebook. And this is going to be the... Uh, 08, 22, uh, 10, um, 24th anniversary. All right, so uh, location, um, let's see, this was in Farmington Hills. Anniversary meetings, the description. And I even get to choose uh, the default privacy settings from everyone can see these photos to only the friends of this account can see these photos or friends of friends. So the, there's nothing private in this particular uh, set of photos. I'm just going to go ahead and say everyone. Now that will uh, allow me to create the album right on Facebook without me having to go any further. Now the next thing is pretty cool is that if I set a title for a photo, uh, Facebook will upload the photo using that title. If I don't set a title, then it will just use the file name that came from the camera. So that's a title that I would put actually in the metadata uh, using, uh, using Lightroom. And of course, I can also rename the files uh, on the fly as they upload if I choose to, just like you can rename in any other, other export modules. Now at this point, uh, the file setting is defaulting to limiting the size of the file to 75K. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and just use my quality setting as I do sometimes when I'm exporting for web uh, imagery. And I'm just going to drop it down to 70. You choose whatever's best for you. And of course, it can also resize the images. And this is cool for photographers that don't want to necessarily put up high-res copies of their photos. They can size them down to whatever they're comfortable with. Again, they, these, are, uh, these are just an event-type photos. There's nothing really here that's commercial. So I'll size them up a little bit bigger than what uh, the default setting was. I also have the ability to sharpen. Uh, I can use the sharpen for screen settings since these will most likely be viewed on a computer screen and using the default set setting of standard. Um, I'm not going to go ahead. I'm not going to worry about any copyright settings at this point. I don't want any watermarks on the photos. Just go ahead and upload them or save as is. Now when I hit save, all that simply does is it puts that album right there with no photos in it. So at this point, uh, if I were to go to my Facebook account, there would be no photos there. I haven't put any photos in, I haven't uploaded any photos. 
all I did was set up the account and set up the album. Now I can tell Lightroom which photos I want to upload. So although there are, you know, uh, a few dozen or a couple hundred pictures here, I don't need all of them. So again, I've gone through and made my picks or selection so far. So I'll just say, show me the picked photos. And again, I can um, scroll through and find some of my favorites out of those picks. So for the sake of time in this recording, I'm just gonna select six of them so far. And we'll just go ahead and drag those six over just like you would any other collection inside of Lightroom. Now, if we go to that, uh, that new collection, you'll notice that it has these six photos ready to be published. And now I can go ahead and click the publish button to actually upload. And what it's doing right now is these are raw files. These are DNGs uh, that came from a, a friend of mine's Canon uh, DSLR camera. And at this point, it is now saving out JPEGs based on my settings and uploading those JPEGs right to that album, right inside of Facebook, ready to go. So it's done three so far, it's got three more to go, there goes one more, one more, and it's done. All six photos have been published. Now let's say that I decide that I want to make a change to a photo. You know, I see something that I want to tweak inside a Lightroom or adjust inside a Lightroom, and I go back to those photos that we were just in. I could do it from here, but I'm just going to uh, drive the point home that you can do it from wherever your photos are. So I go back to these photos. I go back to the attributes here where I choose the picks. Those are the six that I had selected. And let's say that I want to crop this one. I want this one to be more of a portrait. So we'll select that one, we'll go to our um, cropping, we'll hit the letter R on the keyboard, and one of the cool things in Lightroom 3 is you can switch the orientation just by simply hitting the letter X on the keyboard. And so I change the orientation from a landscape image to a portrait image, and I can crop it even further. And now I've made this adjustment based on the image that, um, was, that used to be a wide or landscape image. Now. Of course, this is non-destructive. I can go back and undo this anytime I want, but if I go back to the, um, to the library module, and now I go back to that published service where I uploaded that photo earlier, it will show me that there is one modified photo, one that needs to be re-uploaded. So it's keeping track of anything that I've done in Lightroom, even after the photos have been uploaded, and I can, of course, click Publish one more time, and it will replace the photo or give me the choice. So it's saying, uh, and it's warning me because if anyone's already made comments on that photo, when I replace it, it's a rule of Facebook that you replace a photo, you lose all those comments. So it's just warning me of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and say replace. Again, that's not Lightroom's fault. That's just the fault of the service that doesn't allow you to replace an image and keep all the comments because you're technically they're no longer commenting on the image you just put up, they're commenting on the old image. All right, so now those six photos are there. If I toggle over to uh, the browser and refresh the browser on that Facebook account, those six photos are there and someone has already uh, said they like the album and I will put the rest of the photos there, but there they are, the six that we just saw, including the new updated portrait photo that I cropped in Lightroom and re-uploaded. So you get the idea. You can go back and forth between uh, Lightroom and Facebook using a published service. Very convenient, very cool, very easy to be able to do this right inside of Lightroom without having to export them out and then re-upload them with a web interface or some other application. I applaud the team for getting that published service in. That was one of the ones I've been wanting since Lightroom 3 shipped. And I can't wait to see more published services and more features inside of Lightroom that take advantage of this. So if you haven't got your Lightroom 3.2 yet and you want to play with this feature, just head over to labs.adobe.com. And like I said, I expect this to be a final release in the not too distant future, if not by the time you watch this video. So thanks for your time. My name's Terry White. Hope you enjoyed it.